this video I'm just gonna be a little short one I'm gonna show how to put a breaker in this is a little box I'm gonna put in the garage this is gonna replace an old fused disconnect thing in the garage which had a big blade switch and everything else and I just don't like that setup so I found this and I'm gonna use this and anyway when I video is for I'm gonna show how to mount them how you install square D home line breaker I'm not I'm not familiar with any other brand other than square D most of my main panels are QO square D's which is a sort of similar system except for back here in this tab down here that is a metal bar and then there's like a little metal like C shape clip and then you like clip it on kind of sideways and you clip it over that bar then you swing it down in sort of like this process QO stands for quick open which I believe is like the more commercial grade breaker system home line is more like a consumer type thing in the QO QO instead of these like little tab things that's home line specific those ones they have like a the bus bars are like more like a bar and then there's a little, and so this little slot, you have a contact that sticks out, and then it's got like a little jaw on it, and that clips onto the bus bar. So anyway, to put this in, you would take this tab down here, stick and line it under that tab. And do this off the camera. And then it looks like it's aligned, so you push down on the front, and there are the breakers in. And this is a single breaker. This is what's called a tandem breaker, so it's two breakers in one box. And this I just got for because I need a slot filler, and it was pointless to get a cover for it. And my goal in here is I'm just going to use this one terminal because it's it's a sub panel, but it's not a 220, it's just a 120, so I'm not going to have two hots. And I figured if I ever did need another 15, say a 15 amp breaker, because you can't find tandem like 15, 20 breakers anymore, it's 20 or 15s. I figured if I ever do need that, I'll just jumper that over to that, and that'll be my hot. And then I'll have the neutral splice down here, and I added this ground strip down here, so because it's a sub panel. And you, and, and a sub you have a separate ground and neutral is separated.